Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's session on Netscope Advanced Analytics. My name is Elena Macchi, and I am part of the Netscope Sales Engineering Team. Today, I will be talking to you about how to use and build Sankey visualizations. We will start out by looking at an existing Sankey widget. Then we will build one from scratch. Finally, we will review a few other applications of Sankey charts. Let's start out by looking at an existing widget. This visualization is named Uploads to Unmanaged Applications, and it represents the number of objects being uploaded in the last 30 days to unmanaged applications. This kind of view is useful as you start to explore your environment and want to get an understanding of which cloud applications users are uploading files to, especially if these applications are not managed by IT. We can see this data shown on three different dimensions. On the left-hand side, we have the application category. In the middle, we have the application name. And on the right-hand side, we have the application instance. The width of the band represents the volume of the metric we are measuring. In this case, we are measuring the number of objects uploaded. And as you can see, Dropbox represents the largest proportion of these uploads. And when we mouse over, we can even see that the number of objects being uploaded to Dropbox is 41. If we wanted to, we can explore further and click into this particular band to understand what specific objects make up this upload. As I click here, I can choose Show All 21, and we get a bar visualization of all the objects being uploaded. Sometimes it is useful to look at the table view. And here, we can see the specific files that are being uploaded to this instance of Dropbox. For example, over here, we see that we have a PII SSN large V2. It could indicate that there is some personally identifiable and sensitive information in this file. Let's go back to our visualization. Looking at the visualization in this way, you can quickly get a sense for proportions which applications represent the most number of objects, which do not. And you can quickly see how data maps between the different dimensions. Having this data in front of us, we can start to ask and answer questions like, what are these applications in my environment that I have never heard of? For example, ForShared, when I look at it in this view, I can quickly tell that it is a cloud storage application. We can also ask, should I make some of these applications managed? If Dropbox is an application that it is used by the company, it might be worthwhile to mark this application as managed. We can also start to think about, is data moving to corporate instances of my applications? For example, mynetscopedemo.com sounds like it might be a company instance, but cloud API may not be. Should there be policies built to control some of this behavior? For Cloud API, maybe we should build a policy to coach users for justification for why they are uploading files to this instance, or we could possibly block this behavior. These are some of the insights that you can gain from a Sankey. Now that we have a sense for what Sankey visualizations can show us, let's create one from scratch. For this exercise, we will create this widget, Uploads to Unmanaged Applications, from scratch. To do this from this dashboard, I will click Edit first. Then I will select New Tile. Because we are building a widget that is looking at application uploads, we will pick Application Events to start. For the Sankey diagram to work properly, we need at least two dimensions and exactly one measure. In our widget, we had three dimensions, application category, application name, and instance ID. Let's select those now. 
Let's click into Application Events to look at all the available dimensions and go to the Application section. We'll select Category for the Application Category and Application for the Application Name. We also need Instance ID. Here it is. Finally, we need our measure. Our measures are typically listed at the bottom. In this case, we are interested in the number of objects, so we will click Objects here. We also need to apply some filters to this data since we're only interested in uploads happening in the last 30 days to unmanaged applications. Let's do that now. We'll go to this filter section and click the arrow to bring it down. By default, we have event date listed here, and I will change it from 7 days to 30. Now it will add additional filters. We need an, a filter for the upload activity. So first I will search for activity. And instead of clicking on it, I will click the filter icon right here. The value we would like is upload. And as you can see, it pre-populates here. We need another filter for unmanaged applications. In the dimension list, this information is stored in a field called sanctioned yes, no. Again, I'm going to click on the filter icon right here. And for this, we want to select no. Finally, we need just one more filter called Access Method. Access Method represents how traffic was steered to Netscope. For this exercise in this widget, we are interested in looking at inline traffic or data in motion. Because of that, we will remove all traffic that was analyzed using the API connector method. So we'll select does not equal to. API connector. We also need one more filter on access method. Because of this specific tenant, there is some dummy data in this tenant that is added for demo purposes only. So it doesn't skew our visualization. We will take this data out by saying access method does not equal to null. Most likely in your tenant, you do not have to apply this filter. At this point, we are done adding filters and done adding our data. One last thing we have to do is select the visualization to be Sankey. Okay, at this point, we are ready to hit run and see what happens. Here we are. This is the visualization representing application uploads in the last 30 days to unmanaged applications. We are now able to give our widget a name. And we can click Save to save it. Our widget appears at the very bottom of our dashboard. And since we are in edit mode, we can customize it to change the size. In this section, I would like to show you two additional examples of SAN key widgets and how you can use them in Netscope Advanced Analytics. This widget is looking at activities in risky unmanaged applications. So what does that mean? Well, we are looking at applications that are not marked as managed in our Netscope environment and that also have a low cloud confidence level. Specifically, we are looking at low, medium, and poor cloud confidence level. For these applications, we are also looking at the activities being performed in these applications. 
The bands represent the number of events being generated in these. If we take a look at this information, we quickly see that there are some poorly rated cloud storage applications in which uploads are being performed. It might be interesting to take a look at those and see what is happening. What is the application? What are the uploads? Is this a problem in our environment? Let's take a look. Looking at the information in detail, we see that the application generating some of the alerts is an application called ZippyShare. We see that the user information, the activity, and we also see the object name. Looking at this information at a glance, we start to see that we have code being uploaded, or what looks to be like code, and other files with potentially problematic information, tax information, driver's link information, and so on. At this point, we can start to do some additional research. And after doing this research, we can determine if we should develop a policy around this behavior. Let's move on to our second example. This widget looks at policy alerts by activity and action taken. The policies on the left represent the policies implemented in our tenant. In the middle, we have the action that the user is attempting to perform. And on the right-hand side, we have the action that the policy is taking. The bands represent the number of alerts generated by the policies. For example, we can see that the silent block of online ads generated 3,500 alerts. Having a view like this allows us to take a look and see if some of our policies should be fine-tuned. Looking at high traffic and low traffic policies are good places to start. Additionally, looking at the action being performed by the policy is another area of focus. These are just a few examples of what is possible with sand key visualizations. I recommend you explore the dashboards and widgets available in the Netscope library for additional ideas or start to create your own from scratch. This concludes today's session. Be sure to check out the other advanced analytics topics in this series.